In this video, I'm going to show you how to test for booster, booster panel uh, troubles. So if the panel is actively monitored and the booster panels are wired in, if you create a trouble on the booster panel, it should report to the panel. If it does not report, then that would be a deficiency. So all I'm going to do is just pull a battery lead and I'm going to create a trouble. Usually it will come in uh, fairly shortly. Uh, typically, uh, some be uh, boosters will or will not have modules which can enable and disable. Uh, but there should be some sort of uh, active monitoring on more modern addressable panels. So currently we just have some troubles from my disables, so these are meant to be there. Uh, when I re-enable, those troubles will clear. But right now we're just trying to see if we can get a trouble to activate on our booster panel. You'll hear it click a few times, there we go. So we have a trouble light. So that just came in. And then if we go to our troubles, we will see first floor electrical room booster power supply trouble. So we know that the trouble signal does in fact report to the panel. So if these batteries were to die or if this booster panel had a trouble of some kind, it would be indicated at the panel, which means we can get troubleshooting uh, set up to fix the issue. So I'm gonna put the battery lead back and the LED should hopefully clear. You can also see uh, on the wire diagram here, the LEDs, uh, what they indicate. So we have a ground, a battery, and then the neck uh, troubles. So the second one should be the battery. You see it's the second one there. So that's the battery trouble, so that's the correct one. If I were to disconnect the neck circuits, then I would get troubles for these first four as well. And if I had a ground, the one all the way on the right would have lit up. But we did specifically a battery trouble just to make sure that it does report to the panel if the booster does have a trouble. And you can see my battery trouble is now gone. And that is how you test for battery or booster troubles to make sure that they report to the fire panel as part of your fire alarm inspection.